up everybody welcome back to another episode of nick the piker i'm back home i'm gonna try and break up the canada videos a little bit because i just have an opportunity to fish a wonderful day here in november um so yeah i'm here at my favorite river we're gonna go for some pike some bass some largies smallies we're, f we're fishing for whatever bites today um the water level is perfect it rained a couple days ago and it hasn't rained in a while so I have a feeling that the action is going to be good it's 58 degrees out magic number for pike is 58 degrees as far as water temp it might be a little warmer or cooler but we're pretty darn close so stick with me stay tuned and let's see what we can get All right. so to start out today I'm throwing the good old bread and butter jointed Rapala lure and for bass I'm going with my good old worm lure this one's purple with a white tip it should be deadly today so we're gonna see what we can do I'm gonna cast for pike first always and then uh, work my way around here and see what what's what's popping feels great to be back on the river because I haven't fished the river in a long time. I broke my knee, um, wasn't able to walk for several months. Happened, you know, early in the spring in April. So uh, I missed everything as far as fishing at home. So, you know, I was able to get to go to Canada right when I was healing, which was nice. Still got a lot, uh, probably half of my Canada trip left to post still, but I feel like I want to break up the Canada videos with a little good old home fishing video, so I have no idea what I'm going to catch today, but I should catch something. Something should be biting today. The water level is perfect, and uh, you know, it was real low before, so now that there's a little more water in here, because it hadn't rained forever, so finally got a little rain the fish should be a little active now we're already past all the leaves falling in the river usually the fishing slows down when that happens so we're in the perfect position here to catch a pike at least I mean the bass might have slowed down because it's cooler but this is perfect pike weather so if there's any pike in the area they should be biting today I would think. But well, we shall see, I guess. It's a beautiful day either way. Oh look, caught my first sticks fish. Sweet. Just what I wanted. A nice three legged stick fish. Hmm. Sweet.
Got one. What is it? Oh, it's a little baby pike. Hey, you know what? That's all right. A little baby pike. That means there's pike here, so. If there's a baby that size here, there was a mama that had it. So, at least there's something here. I mean, geez. There should be pikes sitting in all those spots. And there's none. It's crazy. It's just crazy to me. I don't know what to say. There's one. Finally. I knew there would be a pike sitting over there. Or is it a bass? Whatever it is, I caught something. Finally. <laughs> it seems like a decent, whatever it is, is decent. I think it's a decent bass. Yeah, it's, it's a little bass. It's a little smally. Oh, and he got off. Really? <laughs> wow. Unreal, dude. That was a nice smally. Darn it. Well. There's fish biting. That's a good thing. Maybe. If I would have been using my worm lure, I would have caught him and hooked him for sure. I can't believe he got off, man. Damn. Oh, well. Just used the worm lure. I ain't getting away from that. If there's one, there's got to be more. Oh, I can't believe that. Well, you guys got to see the fight. It's a decent smallie. Dude, that was a big pike and he just broke me off. That was a big pike. He totally just broke me off. Wow, dude, look at that. He ripped that 12 pound leader like it was nothing. Okay, well, maybe he'll eat this too. What the fuck? What the hell, dude, that was a big pike. And he just gobbled it, dude. Wow. All right, I'm gonna try and throw a pike lure like an imitation pike, because that was a big pike. I seen, I seen his tail and everything. That was a big fish. That was like 30 something. The way he broke me off like it was nothing, that was a, that was a beast. The biggest fish I've seen in this river, this part of the river anyway, for a long time. And uh, I want to see him on the end of this rod. Cause I got a steel leader, he ain't getting away off of this one. Can't even believe that just happened. 
You never know, man. It's the crazy thing about this river. This lure isn't swimming right for some reason. Dude, that was crazy. All right, I got another one with a white tip, but it's green, but I don't think it matters. I think it's all about that white tip. I can't believe he just took me like I was nothing. Well, let's see what happens now. I got another one. It's not quite the same color, but it's got the white tip, so. I think that's the secret. I want to believe that that's the secret. That was insane, dude. There he is. This time I got him. <laughs> He's not getting away this time. I gotta get to my net. I got my net. I wanna know if that's the same one or not. It might be. I'll find out. Don't break me off. There's no way that's the same one. There's no way that's the same one. I got him. I got him. <laughs> he likes the worm lure, I guess, huh? I don't think that's the same pike, though. Because I don't see my worm lure. We'll find out, I guess. But that's a nice, healthy pike for... You know. That's the nice thing about small hooks. They don't cause any damage. All right. There you have it. Nice. And this is a different one, folks. This is not the same fish that ate my first worm lure. So there's more out there. But that's like a 22, maybe. 22 inch northern. That was fun, though. I figured out what works. I want to see if I can find that other big one. Get my good release. Off he goes. Oh yeah, dude. Alright. I want to find that other one. That other one was bigger. We're going to find that other one still. Alright. Mission success, folks. Alright, well. It worked. Literally the first cast. I threw that bad boy out there and caught a, caught a pike. Not the same not the same pike that ate the first one but he's still out there I'm gonna try and find him <laughs> that was crazy amazing it's amazing I definitely will. Oh, I got a fish. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's a, right when we're talking, is a bass. I caught a bass. All right. Yeah, I landed him. He's a nice, it's a decent one. It's a nice smallie. All right, good. All right. By smallie or a large mouth with no pattern on it. But hey, I'll take it. I knew I should have came back down this way. He gobbled it too, man. Man, he gobbled it. 
Where's the hook? It's in his tongue. Hooked him right in the back of the tongue. I seen some water moving over here, like a fish was over here doing something. And I was right, because hey, there he is. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, I'm on the phone with my kid too. All right, so I'm glad I started walking back this way. Let's see what else there is. All right. So now I got a pike and a bass. <laughs> I saw something jump or move along the shore right here. So I came over here to cast and it was a bass. That was cool. I just heard an owl. Oh yeah, that's definitely an owl. That's pretty cool. Oh, I got another one. Look at that. <laughs> Feels like another bass. He's battling though. He's battling. Oh, it's a decent fish, whatever it is. <laughs> the night, the sunset bite, huh? What is it? It's another bass. Hell yeah. Does he land them? He does. This time, it's a smallie. <laughs> All right. Just barely hooked. Look, just in the corner of his lip on that end hook. But that's all I needed to get the job done. I'm glad I moved back. Oh man, yeah, he wasn't getting loose. I can't even get the hook out. <laughs> and it's just one little hook. But hey, I'm glad I, st I started walking back the way I came using this lure because I wasn't, oh geez. I wasn't really fishing that lure. I was looking for, I was looking for uh, <laughs> pike too. But it seems like the pike and the bass are all about the worm lure right now. So I'll take it. Well, that does it. That was a fun time. I don't know how well you can see me here, but uh, hope you all enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.